If you're black, you're four times more likely to be stopped and searched by the police. Black workers with degrees are paid 23% less on average than white workers with degrees. Race remains the most commonly recorded motivation of hate crime. These are just a few of the facts underlying today's report. Even in a multicultural city like Birmingham, they have a serious impact. Zedi Lau graduated this summer. She found a job at youth engagement agency Beat Freaks, but felt she had to get higher grades at university. I realised kind of being there that I had to work a lot harder in order to kind of secure my future because kind of applying to university, I already thought my, my future would kind of be secured. Today's report said that black graduates who were in work were earning 23% less than their white equivalent colleagues. What does that say to you? Just hearing that statistic, that is horrendous. But I feel like I'm not surprised. We want justice! Young activists from Black Lives Matter have recently taken more militant action to emphasise what the report calls entrenched racism. What it's highlighting is, is that nothing has actually changed. We still have the socio-economic factors, we still have the poor housing, the disproportionality in the criminal justice system, we have high levels of unemployment, high levels of educational unachievement, and the list goes on. Dear Birmingham, that doesn't even sound right. Yo, Brum, that's the kind of thing that I would write, that's not because you're not dear to me, or always here for me, but I have heard your barker more than once I felt your bites. Part-time Birmingham poet and full-time teacher Casey Bailey believes most racism is subconscious. In a system where the majority of uh, powerful positions are held by probably white and males, um, you'll find that black people might be discriminated against, not necessarily because somebody sitting in their office going, I don't like black people, but they connect more naturally with someone who they see as being like themselves. The report wants a comprehensive strategy, even a dedicated Secretary of State to defeat racism and build a fairer society. Juliet Bremner, News at 10, Birmingham.